Garvik of York were I really want to make a video discussing like discussing Article 13. I'm not really much into the whole politics scene because it's just it's just one of those things that you just want to clear out your mind. You don't really want to bring it up unless something bad does happen. But but yeah, Article 13, both the a copyright kind of enforcement, like a legislation which I can't pronounce from Europe, which is meant to give the copyright holders more power. A copyright filter that is meant to be put on YouTube for European YouTube to block out content that have copyright material, meaning it's like a censorship, it's, it's bad. But yeah, we've got fair news, we've got parodies, but then what happened if your upload is behind a waiting wall waiting to get verified by the copyright holders, meaning your content won't get through until it's verified and even if you did knew someone else's copyright but it's a a spoof a parody like a meme then it won't get approved the way i'm putting it is very simplify very simplify there's a lot more videos in detail but the thing i'm worried about the most is gaming we talk about the meme ban but we're not really talking about the let's play the the whole fair news, the whole transformative content to do commentary over gameplay. Like, nobody talk. Like, yeah, there have been discussion about it, which is great. But then we're near the point of where we need to actually speak up. I've been worried about this for a few days. I just thought, oh, wow, net neutrality had... A giant traction they have millions of people just saying no we don't want this we don't want this but it's still passed so my issue is is that there's no traction like there was a lot of traction at the beginning but now it's just i don't know we're playing the waiting game there's not enough people voicing their opinions about this it's just it's mind-boggling like yeah boggling jeez so my issue with all of this is that if this does get passed playing a video game like for example halo 5 halo Master Chief collection call of duty pubg they're all created by companies that won't give you permission unless you're like a big name and you kind of ask them they'll give it to you as an independent content creator there are millions of us that play the game that like to voice our opinions about games to give critical feedback to what we enjoy or what we hate and what could be improved from that feedback. The problem I got with this is that it's going to cut the community down on content for video game, fan create content for video games that don't include other copyright. So if I'm like, oh yeah, I found an easy method of killing the Grunt Goblin in Halo 5 Mythic Firefight, the problem is, is that I won't be able to upload that video because a new filter upload will prove everyone to be guilty and left proven innocent. Meaning I have to prove that the copyright content, it belonged to me, which it doesn't because it's 343 Microsoft and any other thing that's in the video, aka the sound effects, the music, and hell, they might even question about commentary. Like, oh, you sound like someone else. Do you have permission to use that? It's like, no. Do I ask myself for permission to talk? No. And since video games are a huge thing on YouTube, that kind of promote creativity. It's just the problem is, like, 20-30% of the YouTube population will be censored. They won't be able to share their opinions for a video format they won't be able to inspire other creators to create stuff because of fear of this whole upload filter that if this law does get passed in europe the whole inspiration of creating let's play will be reduced in a way so i took a small break from youtube commentary because of life issues and i didn't feel really confident to actually play and record but now since I've been starting to do it again, I've been kind of regretting just not doing it as much. But since this Article 13 is in the background and nobody's really talking about it much now, even though they're protesting Europe, mainly Germany, which is good on them, 
once it get past that whole enlightenment of me wanting to do commentary gone because that option might never be there ever again for this country which is sad actually i mean it's not just for me it's for wait everyone like we bought equipment we bought microphone we bought capture cards we bought the best gaming monitors just to play games and create content to inspire more people to play that game and say yes we're a community we love this game we do well not me in particular like game nights do custom games we try and find out new tricks and share them over the internet through youtube create guides for particular games what i'm saying is is that this is a super serious matter that people took seriously like a month or three months ago but now it's becoming the final stage of which people just null down like the cause and effect will be dramatic like game capture cards who gonna buy them anymore you can't share your content so what's the point of having them what's the point of buying elgato 1060 you know like hd60 what's the point of getting one if you can't share it on youtube what's the point of getting a microphone if you can't commentate over the gameplay because you have to go through a filter to get a company approval just to pull it up that's what will happen if this pass and that's what I'm concerned most about. I get it, like the copyright hasn't been updated to the standards of today. Apparently it was in 2001 where it was last updated, but because of the whole YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, you know, sharing pictures, you know, with comp like copyright content in the background, like memes, that they're updating it to protect the copyright holders content and make sure that they're getting paid money it's just going to be a giant splash damage in a way that they're aiming at one point to help out music holders movies you know that stuff but then the small independent creators in europe pretty much won't have a voice to talk i don't know i mean i really want to help out spread the message but i'm not into politics you get all these like article 13 videos of people saying hey you could contact your representative and say what if you're not into the whole politics and you just going off a video and you contact these people what are you gonna say to them you can disagree with it but they will ask you why do you know the details like the proper details about this like that's difficult to convince someone it's like saying you go into a pub or a bar there's eight people sitting on the table that agree with it and eight people that don't agree with it you that individual who will be affected by all this need to convince the guys that are you know proposing to get it passed you need to convince that person you need to walk up to them have a chat and somehow convince them like how would you do that it's basically like the meme changed my mind you literally have to change your mind of someone who been in the job for years and you only got like a few weeks of experience from watching videos and reading up on forums about it the only thing you can say is the key points of how it will affect people creating content like making covers of music video people who make like english dubs of anime openings or people who make let's plays people do reviews but news like funny memes and content keep the audience's attention span and actually represent the product and actually say oh yeah this product really good here here it is nine out of ten but you need the content in between from you know like gameplay you might put in a few jokes from other copyright content that is fair news there might be someone at the end of a game like a boss that is relevant to another boss from a movie or tv series that you want to reference but yeah this is this is just a big mess like they really have to change the wording on all of this because they're considering the copyright holders giving them all the power and not giving us any perks at all because a lot of people are making an earning on youtube a lot of people create their own brands on youtube from the ground up 
through video game music well hell even movie reviews like oh yeah this is my honest opinion on the trailer and people might agree with that you get people that just do amazing stuff on like a linear line of copyright aka playing the video game like because that's in the background you're reacting to how you're playing it and people might enjoy that there might be a big audience you give that game and the publishers recognition like you give them free advertisement in return you're not asking for much like you might not even be making money on it so why should you be subjected to this like copyright thing it's like it's just bad like in a way this is just gonna hurt like the gaming industry in some ways because some games got copyright music in them like Alan Wake like that game's amazing if you're doing a let's play promoting the game you can't because there's copyright music in it and even if you mute the music it's still copyright of Alan Wake to play it so you can't spread the message of how good the game is you can't review it because it will get censored you can't make a parody because for some reason that will get censored. A content ID, but a global content, well, European content ID, will basically make everything guilty until proven innocent, but then you have to prove it's innocent, even though that you're not the content, you're not a copyright holder, you're not, you're not the people that make the game. So that's the, that's the bit that I'm terrify about it's just this law is a bit too much it's too aggressive it need to be tuned down i don't know that, that's just my opinion it just doesn't seem good i kind of regret not making many videos and now that i feel a lot more encouraged to make more videos now it's like playing a game as a hobby and then doing commentary as a hobby it might not be a thing anymore so yeah i've been cross though else i can and i hope you enjoyed all oh yeah just hopefully you enjoy what you listen to somehow but yeah it's just super serious and yeah we gotta see what the votes will be like at the 26th or april so yeah thank you for watching